Hey guys, it's Angry Admin here, and today we will have a look how to update VRealize Operation Manager to version 8.5. So the first thing first, we need to download the version, uh, and I already logged to Custom Connect um, from VMware, and as you see, you have a three version, three licenses: standard, advanced, and enterprise. I have advanced version in my environment, so I'll go to downloads now. I will be downloading two of them. The one is VRealize Assessment Tool, and the other one is an Vitro Appliance Upgrade for 8.4. As you can see also, it's possible to update straight from 8.0, 8.1, 8.2 and 8.3 8.5 so that's a good news um, okay so let's start let's download the assessment tool first and that's easy peasy of course you have to read and accept uh, and use a license agreement so accept and it's downloading now and now I will download the update itself and it's downloading once we have our pack files downloaded. Now we have to log in to VROPS, but through the admin portal. So you don't go to user GUI, you just need to change your address for slash admin. And now we log into the admin portal. Okay, and now we have that section software update. So in here, we click on install a software update. And now we browse to our pack file. So the first thing I will be running this pack. This is, this will test my environment and my VROPS and it shows me uh, if everything is okay for an upgrade. So, install pack. Now, you see that option, the reset default content. So, we don't need to do it now, but with the version 8.5, it really doesn't matter if you check that or not, everything will be overwritten anyway. So, let's upload that file. staging now so a few more moments and it's ready to be installed so let's click next again agreement license you have to read it through click next so as you see that this package applies the files required to running the pre upgrade assessment tool so that's what we want we want to pre upgrade assessment next and install and now we have to wait a few moments. It's going to be installed. Now, this is my dev environment. Uh, it has only one node, so it should be pretty quick. Uh, however, in my production environment, I have about six nodes, and then it will take more time. Uh, but for now, that should be fine. As you see, it's applying system update. Now we can see it's nine out of nine, applied and cleaned. So now, once it's installed, we are going to support and download support bundle. Download, download support bundle. And now we need to unzip that one. And now we're going to that folder and the reports and there should be index. Yes, index and let's open it. And here we go. So we see the validation is mostly okay. What is this? Make sure to run VROPS 8 appliance upgrade. So it's 8.4. Yes, I will be up, I will be upgraded from 8.4 to 8.5, but that's okay. What we have here? Nothing but all is green. I'd say we are good to go. So now 
I'll be applying an upgrade itself. Okay, now before we go ahead and we do the upgrade, uh, I strongly recommend you to take a snapshot of the VM. So once we're ready, once we have a snapshot, we can go again for software update, install, and now we go for a pack file. So this goes from 8.4 to 8.5. And again, the release note says it doesn't matter if I have that check or not, everything could be reset to default. So what I mean by this is if you have like some custom policy or custom alert definition or symptoms, you just export them first. And then after an upgrade, you would have to import those uh, uh, those save files back to your VROPS. So let's upload. It's the same procedure as with the pre-check tool. So uh, yeah, we just wait a few moments for upload to go through. And 20 minutes later, we're almost there. So 16 seconds remaining, we'll, we'll see. 99% uploaded. Okay, finally we have that staged. So we can check summarization. And just remember that up update will restart the cluster. So yeah, let's click next. Of course, license agreement. That's the information about the update itself. Click next and install. And now when the fun starts um, of waiting. Um, so again, I will pause the video now and I will back once it's installed. And uh, we have that warning. Um, during the installation of the software update, services will be restarted. During this process, this page may disappear, which just happened. So now you have to be just patient. And there's another message. Um, that's everything is normal and expected. So we try to log in through the admin UI to see what's going on. Okay, let's see. Admin and the password. And it's still no go unless I Mix up the password, so just a few seconds. Okay, now we're logging in to the admin UI to see what's going on. And we see the cluster is offline. They're still installing PAK and the installation is in progress. And of course, the state not running. So it will take another 20 minutes or so. Uh, I will stop the video now and we'll be back once it's ready to go online. Okay, folks, and as you can see, the status now is online. Uh, this is the time and date when the operation end. Let's have a look if we can still access uh, our user interface. And let's have a look. Okay. Uh, let's click OK. Customer experience program. Now it's loading. And let's have a look. And we have a version 8.5 advanced. All right, folks, that's everything what I have for you today. Uh, I hope you learned something uh, that that video was interesting. Uh, leave a like and subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and see you in the next video. Bye.